Meanwhile, let's get... Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. In this episode, the explorers visit the medieval town of Alcathar. Here they visit the gorgeous gorges and take a walk on the wild side. Good morning. We've got a bit of toast for breakfast and a good cup of tea and a cup of coffee for Cal. We slept pretty well last night. Took a little bit to drop off for us both, but we had a good lie in this morning. We did set an alarm to see the sunrise, but it was piddling down and it wasn't very nice. So we slept in until 10 o'clock. So we are near Avizander and I think we're going to stay here for the majority of the day catch up on a few bits and pieces, relax and take in the scenery. Hopefully the weather will be better this afternoon so we might go for a little jaunt. So this is the van in situ, that's where we stayed last night and we're going to make a move in a few minutes but before we do we're just going to go check out the water. I don't know if you can hear it but we're pretty close to it. Very close indeed. We were lucky to find this secluded spot, which allowed us to spend time easing into our next country. It can feel like we're starting afresh, even though we've only crossed a border, but a lot can change. Okay, so we've had our fun here, it's time to move on. We did think we were going to spend all day here, but the weather's going to be beautiful later on and we've been tipped off at a fantastic walk in a village about an hour away. Yeah, so we're going to pack our bags, the van's mostly ready, and we're going to head off, uh, set up camp and hopefully today do a walk. And we might have to hire helmets. Yes, <laughs> we are going to Alcazar. I think so, yeah. My pronunciation's about as good as yours, so that sounds all right to me. So, let's go. We've made it to one of the car parks quite close to the town. I'm not quite sure where we're going, but we'll give it a go and see where it takes us. So just been to the tourist information centre, we've got a map. Uh, we've got to go buy a ticket for four euros and that also includes a helmet for the walk. Hopefully we'll be able to do it today. So now we've just got to go find uh, down this way. Ruta de la Paral. Paral. We've also realised just how lacking our Spain is, our Spanish is. Oh, <laughs> so we need to uh, get our phrase book out later and test each other, I think. Even the basics of. Alcazar is a medieval town in the Aragon region of Spain and with a population of only 301. It is built on a limestone outcrop west of the canyon Rio Vero. This area is known for its outdoor activities such as canyoning, abseiling, rock climbing and hiking. Well, hello there. Uh, I've got my helmet. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just in case. Cal's going to put his on in a minute and he's going to look even more spiffing than I do. It's costing four euros, uh, with, which is including helmet and insurance each. Um, and it can take up to two hours depending on how long we walk, how long we take pictures, videos, which she saw the camera and knew that's what we would be doing. And we're just in time because it closes at half past three. 
let's go and have a look at what these elevated bridges can provide us with uh, with what sort of sight. God, that's awful. <laughs> so let's go and see the sights from these elevated bridges and footpaths. Turn around. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Ma'am. <laughs> Go on then. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I think so. I think we might have underestimated it. I'm not sure if we've come off piece exactly, but this is quite a tricky walk. <laughs> I now understand why they've given us helmets. Yeah, we can't be trusted. I think we're going the right way. I assume we are. But you wouldn't want to be coming down here if you weren't 100% on your feet. Mm. Would you? No. Like, it's steep. That's why I haven't filmed much of it. Walking down the boardwalks and down the rocks. I was sure we came the wrong way. Those steps are so steep, they've had to cut out where your foot goes down. Madness. How are you with heights these days, Cal? I'm alright, because I wouldn't mind falling down into that. <laughs> the water looks really quite inviting at the minute, I don't know why. It's getting narrow here, isn't it? Oh yeah. Bit of a squeeze. This part of the walk has got very thin indeed. I probably shouldn't come through forward, make life easier. <laughs> oh wow, I'm definitely gonna, <laughs> gonna have to crowd through this next bit. It's mad. the Spanish version of the Grand Canyon but on a slightly smaller scale <laughs> wouldn't you say? Slightly yeah, slightly. So far this walk has been well worth the four euros we spent. Around each corner there's something different, I wasn't expecting the waterfall just there, it's absolutely beautiful. Now this little cave system which makes me understand why we've got the hard hats on, because it is rather small and narrow, but it feels quite adventurous this walk, doesn't it? Yeah. Like sneaking through all the tight little gaps and uh, there's absolutely no one around at the moment, so we can just do what we want. This part of the walk doesn't even look real. The light's hitting this area just right and it looks magical, unbelievable. We've made it to the main viewpoint and it looks amazing. Shame we haven't quite got all of the sun in the valley but uh, beggars can't be choosers and we're very lucky really because we haven't seen a soul on this little recce. So we wouldn't have known about this beautiful spot if it wasn't for Katie, my old school friend, reaching out on Facebook when she saw pictures on our personal Facebook the other day. So thank you very much, Katie. She has given us loads of places to go over the next few days, which we'll be checking out those too. And while I'm here, I better shout out her mom and dad, Sandra and Mark, who my mother has informed me watches at home. So hello and thank you for watching and thank you for all of the tips, Katie, too. All that remains now is the climb back up into the town, which hopefully shouldn't take too long. Back up in that direction somewhere. 
and then back to the van. Something that's hit us today is that crossing over the border from France into Spain has been the biggest change in environments and we definitely know that we're in a different country this time. Yeah, architecture, roads actually as well, mm. they're a little bit different. Landscape, just the colours of the rocks yeah. at the moment. Whereas we say like the Netherlands sort of bled into Germany for quite a while and Germany to Austria was quite similar mm. for a while but uh, this definitely feels very different. And the language, we we need to go back and learn some of them phrases <laughs> straight away. <laughs> yeah, we're struggling, we're really struggling. After a hard uphill walk, we made it back to the van. We rested up and slept in this car park overnight before moving on towards Montserrat. As always, feel free to like, subscribe and leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to press the bell button to receive notifications each time we upload a new video. We'll see you in the next one.